Hey everybody, this is Tara from Padded Tush Stats. Today I am on location at one of my favorite places at my house, and that is my porch swing. And the reason why I'm here is because I'm chatting about the book that I just recently finished reading. This is an advanced copy of Changing Diapers, The Hip Mom's Guide to Modern Cloth Diapering. This is the new book coming out of Kelly Wells, and it is a fantastic read that I wanted to just guide you through and talk with you about the features. I'm kind of one of those pick up a book and feel it, sort of people um, so I really like getting visuals for how books are so I'm going to go through the different things that I see in this book and and you that way you can see if it's something that you may want to purchase this book is a really great introduction to cloth diapering it has an introduction that just kind of gives basics to someone who doesn't know much about cloth diapering but even I felt like I learned so much by looking at it you'll see that there are statistics uh, on how much money to save and things like that there's a whole historical background my personal preference is I just wish that it, the historical background were a little bit towards the back because I worry that people will get a little bit bored with the history or they kind of might get overwhelmed because it's not stuff they really need to know. But that is something that was interesting. Also there's some reasons for why someone might want to cloth diaper. Then my favorite section of the whole book is this part that's called Cloth Diapering 101. And what it is, is it gives you the total basics on diapers. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I started cloth diapering, I was like, what's an insert? What's a doubler? I didn't get all those different things. What's an all-in-one? This breaks everything down. It'll give you a description of the diaper, and then it even tells you how to prepare it for putting it on the baby and how to put it on the baby. So you'll see there's pocket diapers and there's definitions and how to stuff it and put it on the baby. One size diapers tells you a little bit about what those are. It will also tell you different brands that may have that system. There, so here's an all-in-two flat diapers and the thing that's kind of cool about this is there is a little basic introduction to um, one of the folds on here. Uh, I wish the diaper bag fold were on here because I think that's such a great awesome one. There's also an introduction to pre-folds yeah, that are on here as well. The thing about the pre-folds and the flats is I do wish that there were uh, just a few more folds, maybe later in the book so it's not that overwhelming. Another section that I really like is one that gives you the basics about fabrics of cloth diapers. Uh, I didn't realize how important it is to think about fabrics when you cloth diaper. This is gonna sound really silly, but Everyone kept telling me that since I had a heavy wetter, I should get hemp. Get hemp, get hemp, and I would get hemp, but it was not solving the issue. Well, it turned out that I have a rapid peer, and for that, you would want something like microfiber that quickly absorbs the pee, and something that's backed with hemp that would absorb a lot of pee. That's why you guys will always hear me talk about how great the Super Dew has been for me. But fab knowing a lot about the fabric gives you a lot more workability with your diapers, and it helps them work for you. So it'll tell you all about the different kinds of fabrics, and I think that's very helpful. The other part that I love here is the section diaper like a pro and this basically gives you a checklist of things that you would want to have for cloth diapering your baby. Things like the diapers obviously, wipes, a diaper pail, a wet bag, extra inserts, one of my favorite things, a diaper sprayer. So you really get a, a, a nice checklist so that you know what you need to buy. There's also a great section here that is about things like leaks and rashes that are little troubles that people might come across. And I had a lot of issues with these things and I didn't know of all the resources that are out there to help me. So I like that this section goes into troubleshooting the different things about leaks, especially like if the diaper's the appropriate size, the absorbency, um, things like residue buildup which I had not known about, so very helpful for people. 
There's also this great section on daddies and diapers. And this is giving you things to talk about with the daddy uh, if he needs convincing. Um, it gives you some tips on that. You'll also see I have a video on that as well because my husband took a lot of convincing. In the book you'll find that about a quarter of the book consists of this section called What Moms Say. And it's basically different cloth diapering parents takes take on their cloth diapering experiences and it's very helpful so that you're not just hearing one voice and for those of you who know padded tush stats my passion behind my site is that I like when there are more voices behind a diaper review or or the thing about a diaper which is why we do surveys here so I love that we're hearing a lot of different voices from this book oh Sai, did they do it they actually did they actually tried to take on the controversial how to wash your diapers. And I, I am something, someone who's kind of picky about these things. Um, I am a firm believer in the a teaspoon is not going to clean your diapers. And I really, really liked how this section went through how to clean your diapers right down to a nice poop diagram, how to get rid of the poop, but just very helpful to tell you about things. One of the thing critiques that I do have is it kind of says to, um, it gives you a basic guideline of like a, a quarter of the cup or something like that um, of how much detergent to use. And in my opinion, I felt like they should kind of say that you are going to have to tweak how much detergent you use based on the type of water that you have if you have hard or soft water uh, based on the kind of machine you have there is some tweaking and I really wish that that would have been indicated you also have a list here of some recommended uh, cloth diaper approved detergents so I think that that is very helpful to have that list there if you're like me and you are terrified of wool, there is even a section on how to wash wool covers which I think is awesome to have so that you're not spending a bunch of time Googling trying to figure out how the heck to do it. There's also an awesome section here on blogs that gives you a lot of different cloth diapering blogs. What do you think I'm going to say is the, the bummer about this, that Padded Tush Tats was a little bit new when this was written. Otherwise, I would hope that it would make this list because it's diaper reviews that have statistics behind them and comments from lots of parents. So um, hopefully it'll make a, a, a future edition. There's also a great section that gives you different information about brands of cloth diapers. You've got Flip here, Fuzzy Buns, Jeep Diapers, Grovia, and much more. Um, it was a bummer to me that there weren't a lot of work at home mom companies, but they can't make this a huge gigantic book. But I'm just very passionate about how great a lot of work at home um, company diapers are. At how, how wonderful those diapers are as well and how great the customer service is for a lot of the companies. So I was a little bit bummed about that, but I really like how many brands there are here discussed. So there you have it. There is my review of the Changing Diapers book. I think this is a great baby shower gift and let me chat with you about this. So I've really wanted to give my friends the gift of cloth diapering. Oh, that sounds cheesy. But I've wanted to give them something without it being obnoxious, especially because it would be costly if you're if you're wanting to give someone the cloth diapering experience to try you'd have to get them like a wet bag you'd have to get them enough diapers to where they're not just running one through the wash I've thought about all these things and I've kind of stressed out about it and you also worry about looking a little bit too pushy because you're kind of imposing something on them I don't know these are the fears I've had so I feel like this book is a great opportunity to kind of give them a hey, here's how cool cloth diapering is. It's not as overwhelming as it seems. Um, and my one of my closest friends is having a baby soon, and she sees this, so she's going to know what her gift is. But I'm going to be giving her this book, and I'm going to give her an Amazon gift card. This is how I found out maybe not to be obnoxious in my cloth diaper gift. It's just going to be one of those, hey, cloth diapering is cool. I hope you like it. But if you don't, you can buy whatever you want with this, but hopefully you'll buy a cloth diaper. So I'm going to kind of do that. But this was a fantastic book, a great basic guide for people, and I hope you guys will check it out. You can also check my website for some coupon codes that you can use to order the book, but I really do highly recommend it, even if 
you're not a beginner, I think it's great to have on the shelf. I have it on my shelf and I've already used it and it's very helpful. So thanks again everyone and I hope you have a great day. Bye.